What's going on guys, this is Ness, bringing you guys my rant video on Dragonhold. Um, everybody's made videos on the patch notes and everything's like that. I haven't seen any PTS videos out yet, so I kind of wanted to be the first to bring you guys the news of why Dragonhold is going to be terrible and why nobody's going to die. So, getting right into it, I, I literally just got on the PTS. This is still my live reactions. I've looked at the skills, I've seen what stuff tooltip's for, just to get in my build before people comment again and say I'm using something cheesy. This is essentially a semi-full damage build. My build right now on live is Heavy Seducer, Desert Rose, and Blood Spawn with double sword and board. Everything is Nurn Honed and Impen, all spell damage glyphs, all arcane, just so everybody knows. I put on Light Armor Crafty. Just to give myself damage so you guys can see what stuff essentially tooltips for. Obviously I'm just showing damage numbers here. Really that's the main point of this. I'm not here to show you sustain because I can safely say right now sustain is going to be terrible unless you build for it. So obviously this is spoken through the POV of a mag decay but getting into it. Um, the biggest hits through this patch are the dot nerfs and as you can see they're beyond terrible like engulfing tooltips for 8k unbuffed over 14 seconds with I mean let's buff up let's get raid buffs I have almost 55k magic I have 3.3k spell damage Engulfing tooltips for 10k over 14 seconds. Burning embers tooltips for just under 15k over 14 seconds. This right now, if Burning Embers was 14 seconds right now and I put this build on live in Scalebreaker right now, this would be a 35k dot. Just to give you an idea of how much these have been nerfed. And to tell you something really depressing, you don't have to know everything about mag decay to know that this is depressing. My strongest dot is volatile. Like, people complain about dots and they wanted dots nerfed from Scalebreaker. So Zoss said okay, but they didn't think about classes that rely on dots to kill people. There are people that complain about something like Mag Decay because Mag Decay has dots and then they have Whip which only now is starting to hit for decent numbers because of how the game is now and the state of the game and builds. Before, Whip didn't really hit hard. Whip, it, hit, it was noodle numbers, but your Whip comboed with your dots being strong was how you killed people. Now your dots are decent and whip hits hard. Now next patch, whip is hitting the same and engulfing and embers are non-existent. Like they've completely flipped this on its head from where mag decay's dots used to be good but it's single target spammable was terrible damage. Now it's to the point where your dots, the whole point of this class is you have strong fire dots. And they're literally terrible. Like, you don't even slot these. Use debuffs. Use abilities to buff your max magic. Use sustain abilities. Anything. I I don't know where Zoss, like, they just went through and nerfed all the dots in the game and didn't have any idea of how this is going to actually affect classes. Like, in PvE, this is terrible. This is god awful. You nerfed Mag Decay's damage into Oblivion. Absolutely terrible. Their two strongest dots are god awful. In PvP, I I don't know what the class is going to do because you're not going to be able to st sustain these in PvP or PvE. And you have to build for sustain, so they're not even going to tooltip for these. Like as I showed before, I have 700 regen. This is not a sustain build. This is not going to work in actual PvP. This is to show damage, and that's my damage. When you build for sustain, this is going to tilt it for maybe like 10-11k over 14 seconds. 
If you can't kill somebody with whip, they're not going to die. I don't get how we went from Scalebreaker to Dragonhold. I get the thought process behind Zoss, and they're like, yeah, we want to revert dots, and we want them to not be as good as they are now. So let's nerf them more than we buff them in the first place. Let's do that. That makes a whole lot of sense, right? Like... If you could see my face right now. The reason why Scalebreaker is good and people don't understand it is people die. Literally, the tank meta died because they buffed dots. Literally, all they had to do was buff damage. And they killed tanks. They buffed damage, they buffed healing, and tanks were dead. Nobody could tank anymore. Everybody died. You're not going to be able to complain about 1vxers infinitely tanking people. You're not going to be able to complain about zergs not dying. You're not going to be able to complain about groups, anything. Like, people die. The game is actually in a good state. Are dots too strong? Sure, they need to be toned down. But you nerf dots into oblivion, and that's all you did. You didn't change anything else. Now, nobody's going to have damage to kill each other, and people are going to be tanks again. And by the same point, you didn't buff burst damage to compensate. So it's like you literally are going to have dots tickling people. And burst damage is going to be the same, which isn't enough to kill people. I can't kill somebody on live with just whip. I could only dream of that. If I stood there and spammed whip on a dude and he spammed vigor, I would never kill him. I have to use engulfing, I have to use embers, I have to CC him, I have to use an ultimate, like, Zenimax, I don't know what you're doing, but this ain't it. I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys, I'm gonna have plenty more videos on the PTS, I'm gonna look at plenty more stuff, I'm probably gonna rant about other stuff, but I just wanted to get this out to you guys so you could see what stuff's like, and how bad it really is, and... Honestly, guys, I've never said this before in a video, but honestly, like, storm the forums. Go all over. Let Zenimax know that this is terrible. Like, we went from one of the higher damage patches in the game ever to we are going to embrace tank meta full again, and people are not going to be able to kill each other. When a mag DK's strongest dot is volatile, you know there's a problem. I don't I literally don't think I have anything else that I have to say to explain that like if you if I can't kill somebody if this goes live right now and if I can't kill somebody with flame lash they're not gonna die and I can't kill I'm not gonna be able to kill somebody with that so I hope Zenimax strongly adjusts these changes honestly all dots needed to be changed was nerfed slightly if they were just nerfed slightly or they put forward the change that they spoke about where they were going to put into Battle Spirit where you could only have one of each dot applied to you. If they did either of those, or both, problem solved. The game would have been in a great state. Literal great state. Instead, they literally just took damage from so many classes and so many people and now we're just not going to be able to kill each other again. So... Uh, rip PvP, rip your parse in PvE, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm wrapping it up here, guys, before I start sounding ridiculous, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your opinions on this. I'm out.